Hey everybody, it's Jim. Welcome back to Introduction to Corn Shell. I wanted to go over how you do math with variables that you have read in from the command line. Now, normally when we do math, say example here, we've defined a variable called var and we've assigned 5 to it. And to do math on it, we do the double parentheses. And inside of the double parentheses, you don't put the dollar sign in front of the variable name in order to get the value from it. This right here will take and assign to cube the value of 5 times 5 times 5 or 125. Now, if inside of these parentheses you normally don't put the dollar sign in front of the variable name, how would you cube dollar sign 1? Well, using the, this model, you would have to say cube equals 1 times 1 times 1 in the double parentheses. So let's actually test this script out. In the first part, we're just going to print out this result right here. So we should expect that to be 125. Now. In the second print statement, we're going to print out the result of this right here. So let's take a look. We're going to enter in 4 for the value of dollar sign $1. So that cubed should be 64. So the first line, which was 5 times 5 times 5, did come out to be 125. And the second one, just came out to be 1. And that is because it took 1 as the literal value and not the variable name 1, which is from the command line arguments. So how do we actually do math with command line arguments? Well, what you do is you put dollar sign in front of the number. So this statement right here should, in fact, cube dollar sign one and then it will print it out hopefully and this is the third print statement as you can see one two three so in our output here the third print statement did in fact result in 64 so if you ever want to do math on arguments that are fed in, you have to put the dollar sign in front. 